about your faith in Jesus now. Let his power reach down inside you. He can make it open now. I feel the power of my devour. Reach him down.
Bless the Lord. Everybody happy today? Yeah. Amen. Let's all stand and get a service open up. Get your mind upon the Lord. You know God is good today. It's good to serve the Lord. It's a privilege to come together in His name today. Let's open our hearts to Him right now. Father, we love you today. We are thankful to be in this place. Oh God, it's so good to serve you. It's so good to know you as Savior, Father. Hallelujah. Lift us up together in heavenly places. Open our hearts and minds unto thee, O oh God. Teach us thy ways and truths. And bless the churches everywhere where men again in your name. And we'll thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, it's well, I know the Lord. Sister Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. Sing the word.
is just getting ready to be just cut off he is right there with me Hallelujah. and he is lifting me up and holding me up and, yeah. you know I, I just praise him so much I know that we are living in perilous times today perilous I'm time. telling you um, you can't turn on the television lest you and find out that they, we are living in perilous times Absolutely. I'm telling you every every time you turn around everywhere you look they talk about this and they talk about but, oh, I'm so glad that I know all I have to do is turn to the you. one that is in control of Hallelujah. my life. You know, they, they talk about financial devastation, and they talk about uh, plagues and perilous plagues. Oh, this country is this, and you just don't. Oh, I'm so glad that I live somewhere where I know I can turn to God freely. I can turn to Him freely. I can worship Him freely. I can open up my mouth and speak about the God that I am. Do you realize there are people in places today... They cannot speak the name of Jesus. Uh, right. They cannot speak the loveliness of God. Uh, they cannot talk about His mercy. They cannot talk about His grace. They cannot talk about where He's brought them from and where He's taking hallelujah. them to. They're bound. I'm telling you, they're bound and they do not have those privileges that we have. I thank God today that I can stand Bless here today and I can tell hallelujah. you about the goodness of and the wonderfulness of God. Hallelujah. I can tell you about a man who laid down his life that I might live. Ooh. He laid down his life that I might have eternal salvation. Amen. He laid down his life that I might prosper. He laid down his uh -huh. life that I can have healing. Keep he laid down his Thank life you, that I have the ability to lift up my hands. Shout about. Hallelujah. Amen. There are Amen. places in this world today that they do That's not right. have that. That's right. They do not have that. And there are places that they had it, and it was taken away. Oh, yes. And if you think for one second, if you think for one second that those privileges cannot be snapped away from you, look around you. That's right. Look around you today. Wake up. Yes. There are people devising plans to keep you and I from being able to stand here and talk about the goodness yes, of God. Right. There are people Amen. today devising ways to keep you from talking about the loveliness of God. Amen. Amen. Do not take it for granted. No. We, we're fighting a true enemy. Amen. Do you understand yes, that? Sir, we're like fighting that. a true enemy. <laughs> so yeah. many people believe we have an enemy that's called Al-Qaeda. Uh -uh. We have an enemy that's called uh, North Korea. Yeah. We have an enemy that's called Iran. Calibre. Sure, they're, they're enemies. They're out there and they hate us. Yeah. Oh, yes. But don't you understand? They hate us for a reason. They hate us because we stand on... The, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. That's why those people hate us uh -huh. today. Sure. Do you understand that? Yeah, right. Those people hate us because of who we stand yeah. for. That's right. Amen. That's right. Because they are continually pressed by an enemy that constantly stirs up that within them. Yes. Amen. Amen. They serve a God that is not our God. Uh -huh. well, that's right. mm -hmm. They serve self. Do you understand that? Yes. Yeah. They're serving themselves, and they want. They hate us for a reason. They hate us because we love God. That's the reason they hate us. They want to stamp us off the face of this earth. We are a reproach in their eyes. They cannot stand it. He says, oh, be weary. But I want you to know and understand, fighting the same way they fight is going to get you nowhere. This is a battle that cannot be won on a battlefield. This is a battle that cannot be won with guns and bombs Amen. and airplanes. This is, an, uh, this is, a, this is a, a war that cannot Spiritual be won yeah. by materialistic things. Absolutely. This battle is going to be won in the, in the spirit. Do you understand? This battle is going to be won not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Did you hear that? Not by power nor by might. But by my spirit, saith the Lord. Believe that. There are some Amen. things in this life that are just spiritual battles. They're spiritual battles. Uh -huh. And so many of us do not have our spiritual warfare on. Uh -huh. So many of us do not even believe that there is a spiritual battle. Uh -huh. 
There are a lot of people that do not believe that there's a devil. They don't believe that there's a hell. They believe there's an all-seeing God that takes care of them and is going to, it's going to bless them. But they don't believe that there's a devil. They don't believe that there's a hell. Well, I'm here to tell you today, there is a Satan and there is a hell to shun. There is a place that I'm reaching for and it is not this world. That's right. Amen. Amen. It is not this world. Do you understand that? The whole because I'm telling you what, if you're seeking this place here on earth as your home, you're seeking the wrong thing. Uh -huh. I'm you know, seeking a city whose builder and maker is, is God. God. I was Jesus. thinking about Jehoshaphat. Uh, when he was getting ready to go against the, I think it's the Syrian army, and he chose out the singers, the great singers, <laughs> and they begin to sing praises uh -huh. to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's victory in praise. Victory, uh, really oh, victory. And, and that's why our attitude has a lot to do with uh, our, our walk with God. Hallelujah. Oh, he cut out a yeah. yes, We are seeking a city whose builder and maker is God. Oh, my, it is not this world. No. Paul said, if I had hope in this life only, I would I'd be of all, all men most, most miserable. miserable. Uh -huh. If I thought the only thing that I was going to gain was what I gained on this earth, Oh my. Oh my. Because I want you to know, this is a spiritual thing. There is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Absolutely. There is a heaven to gain today. Do you understand that? It, but you've got to know that, you, that you've got to do something to get there. Uh -huh. You have to do something. You have to stand on the Word of God. I'm telling yeah, you yeah. what. There are things that come up in my life that sometimes it just overwhelms uh -huh. me. Yeah. And I think, God, I thought this was over. Man, I thought this battle was done. I had thought I'd been around this mountain. I don't want to go around this mountain again. I'm just done with this mountain, God. I am so done with this mountain. I thought it was over. I thought it was done. And now I'm facing this giant again. Yes. And I want you to know, sometimes you have to go up against that same fight giant on, fight over on. and over and over. But you cannot go backwards. Nope. You understand? You back. When the children of Israel came out of Egypt and they came into the promised land, oh, they, I mean, they was headed for a land of milk and they had their soul. Oh, yeah. And the first second that something came up against them, oh, a water of the water. Well, just turn around. Let's go back. There's a river in front of me. I can't make it. I can't make it. I can't make it. I can't make it. It's, it's an obstacle that I cannot overcome. They said, let's just turn around and go back. At least when we was back there, we had, we had a, a place of, of, of warmth. We, you know, we, I mean, it was bad, but it's, it's not as bad as it is now. And God said, no, 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 no. Okay, Moses, this is what I need you to do. I need you to speak faith to the people. I need you to speak faith. I need you to stand. I need you to stand. I need you to go forward. I don't want you to go back. I want you to go forward. I need you to look this direction. And follow my word exactly as I said it. And he did. And the waters parted and they went through on dry land. And that enemy that was chasing them down and was overcoming them and they thought for sure we're not going to make it. When God opened up that those seas and they went through on dry ground, He made a way where there seems to be no way. Hallelujah. Do you understand that? He made a way where there seems to be no way. Mm -hmm. And when they crossed over Praise and the enemy come barreling in after them, He used that same obstacle to overcome the enemy. We are overcomers. Do you understand that? Hallelujah. We are overcomers. They overcame by the word of their testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Lamb. But the it. word of their testimony can do it. and the blood of the Lamb. Can do, it. do you understand? You've got a testimony that you've got to speak. You've got a word that you've got to say. The Amen. things that come out of your mouth make a difference in your life. Amen. And I can say this because when I'm down and I give myself that pity party, woe, woe, me, oh, poor, poor me, I don't feel better. It doesn't make my situation any better. That's right. When I retreat to my my chair, of could oh, it's too much. It's too much. God slaps me upside the head and says, "Get up, girl. Straight up. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Hallelujah. This is not a time to retreat. 
This is not a time to sit down and fold your hands and say, I can't do anymore. Amen. We can do it. This is a time Amen. where you stand on your feet and you say, Satan, get thee behind Amen. me. Amen. Get out of my face. I don't yeah. want to talk to you it's anymore. Written, it's you written. see this word? Here it is. <laughs> talk to the man that's in control. Slap him with the word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He tells me, don't turn around and run. Amen. What has He given you? The shield of faith. The breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. He's given you that helmet of salvation. All oh, that ah. sword of the Spirit. Ah. Your feet shut yeah. in the preparation Hallelujah. of the gospel of peace. That means He don't want you to run backwards. He's giving you truck and shoe. Yeah. Amen. I can go yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, sister. Amen. Do you understand? He's given you the, the armor of warfare. Yes. And I'm telling you, we're in a battle today. We're in a battle today that is not going to be won by swords and staves and, and bombs and airplanes. You can nuke every bit of those places. And somewhere out of those places is going to stand up an enemy that's going to come against you. Amen. How many times you go from the back to the front, the front to the... How many times has the enemy raised up his nasty head? Just when they think they've wiped him out That's and got right. it over. That's right. Here's his ugly face again. <laughs> Man, I thought I got rid of you. I thought I got rid of you. <coughs> Man, I know I fought that giant before. No, I know no. I... What are you doing in my face again? Yeah. What are you doing in my face again? I thought I'd overcame this. But I want you to understand when the enemy raises up his ugly head and he tries to make you doubt and he might to, tries to make you run, he tries to make you turn around, that's when God is saying, look up, look up, look up. You can do it. Look up. Amen. Look up. For what's come with your help, look up. Look unto God, trust in Him and believe Him. It's not by power nor by might. But by my spirit, saith the Lord. <coughs> we're fighting a real enemy. And we're fighting a spiritual battle today that the enemy wants you to fall. And he doesn't want you to get up. And he's going to throw everything at you he possibly can. And he'll take the things that are around about you and make them look so bleak and so destitute and so unable to overcome that you just sit down and say, why do I want to even try? <clears throat> but you cannot listen to those things. You cannot allow those things to come into your heart. Sure, they're going to come into your head. You're going to be bombarded in your head. Uh -huh. But you know what? We're go we got a God that fills our heart and uh -huh. lets us to know Amen. that I can make it no matter what. Amen. I can overcome all of these things. Amen. Yes. Amen. David said, I fought a bear and I killed it. I fought a lion and I killed it. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that thinks that he can stand between me and my God? Who do you think you are? And the enemy will rage and he will mount to you and he will complain to you and he'll throw everything in your way. Your finances are going down the toilet. Man, how am I going to make it? There's a chance that I might lose my job. Every day you open up the newspaper and you look on the TV. There's, they laid off 20,000 workers, state workers in, in the state of California. They're not giving out state tax checks. Nope. They're sending out IOUs. IOU, $350, and I'll pay you. I said, I wonder what they do if you wrote an IOU and sent it back. Here's my property tax. That wouldn't work. No, uh, no. That wouldn't work. No, that wouldn't work. <laughs> Probably not. That wouldn't work. But I want you to understand, we're not fighting a physical enemy today. It does not matter what it looks like because you know what? I draw from the well. I draw from the well. I draw from the well. When the man came in and he said, fix me a cake. And she said, oh, but you don't understand. I've only got enough to make a small cake for me and my son and we're going to eat this and die. I'm going to eat this and go off in my, my chair of confinement and say I'm just going to die. Oh, no, 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 no. First thing you do, the first thing you do is you make me a cake. You make me a cake. And I'm sure she's thinking, <laughs> I'm going to make you a cake and me and my son are going to have nothing. But something in her, something in her,
believed in him. Something in her Same made her trust. Something in her knew. Let her to know. Yes. I can trust this man. I can do what he says. So, and she did. And she went off and she made him a cake and she brought it to him. And you know what? And he said, your cruise will never go empty. And your flour mill will never just cease. You know what? You will, it will, and every time she went and she picked up that, that oil and she poured out that flour. I mean, the mill kept coming out, and the oil kept going, and the mill, and the oil, and the mill, and the oil, and the mill, and the oil. Now, come on! <laughs> the mill, and oil, come on! What in the mill, and the oil? Praise the Lord. And it, it never stopped. Blessed of God. Yeah, it never man. stopped. And why? Why did it not stop? <laughs> hey, Sister Jennifer, he had her go out and get others, uh, bunches of vessels and fill them up. <laughs> One place, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it wouldn't show her up front. They were going to fill them up. Yeah. It will never vessels. run short. Because if you put God first in your life, you understand? Yeah, yeah. If you put Him first Amen. and you believe Him, uh -huh. it does not matter right. what symptoms come your That's way. Right. It does not matter what it looks like. Amen. I don't care if the, the, the finance minister of the world says, it's going down the toilet, guys. It's going down the toilet. I'm sorry, it's just, it's, there's nothing we can do. There is something I can do. Uh -huh. I can turn my face to a God that I know that will take care of me. Now, you know what? I am not living in a mansion on a hill. My bathtub is not laid with gold. I am not running around in a, in a BMW or whatever fancy things that they have. Mercedes. You know, the car that I drive is a nice car and God has given it to me and makes it well. And you know what? My poor van, my husband has tried and tried and tried to get me oh, <laughs> to get rid of that van. And you know what I say? That van does exactly what I need. It'll put it'll put eight, well, nine kids on Tuesday night. <laughs> it'll put nine children, double seat battle we're not supposed to do, but we're coming here. <laughs> it'll pack them in there and it does exactly what I need that vehicle to do. Now, is it a nice, fancy vehicle, big SUV that I can control? No, it's not. Do I care? No. Would I like to have a new one that I could support around? Sure. If somebody feels led today to buy me a brand new van, feel free to go right ahead. God says it is okay. Sure. I mean, they do that. But I want you to know and understand, a new vehicle will not do anything more for me than the vehicle that I've got today. Amen. You can only drive so far, <laughs> so much. <laughs> Face it. All the time. Make payments on it. <laughs> you know, there are women out there that pay $300 for a pair of shoes. $300 for a pair of shoes. $1,000 for a purse. I'm telling you, I personally had a child that one time did that. She didn't do it anymore. Thousand dollars <laughs> for a purse? There's something that. There's a lot of people that do that. That's, yeah. that's more than I paid for my car. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> saying there are people, and if that's your thing, that's between you and God. I've got no problem. If God will allow you to go out and buy thousand dollar purses and three hundred dollar pair of shoes, thank you, Jesus. That's wonderful. Uh -huh. I mean, I hope He blesses you more and more and more. Sure. But myself. I go to the clearance rack <laughs> and I look for the six ninety nine or the two seventy two or whatever's out there. Because you know what? You can only wear them. So you do wear them. You can only wear them. I mean, honestly, you can only wear them. And I'm, I'm because materialistic things. I can honestly say materialistic things are not that big a deal with me. Face it. When you come from a child. When I was a child, you didn't need shoes from so June to August. We didn't have shoes to wear. You did not need shoes from June to August. In August, you got a pair of shoes because you had to wear shoes to school. And those shoes had to last me from August until when we got out at the end of May. And generally, they were talking as I would walk down the hall because that's just the way it was. Or there was no toes in them because your feet had grown so much that year. And so your toes just went out the end, but they still worked. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you did not need shoes from June to August. It was a necessity. It was warm. And so when you come from that, praise God I have a van that will get me to the store. Yeah. 
Amen. My girlfriend, I, I, these are stories, and I'm sorry, but they're just stories. My girlfriend, Nori, and I were, were the bestest, bestest friends there ever was. And her family was a, a, a little bit more um, financially secure, should you say, than we were. Very much secure. <laughs> And we, we would always buddy around. We had plans about what we were going to do when we got older. And she would say, now when we get older, we'll be airline stewardesses. Because if we're airline stewardesses, we can fly all over the world and we'll see everything. But now, you know, I'll have to control the finances because you've never had anything. You'd have no idea how to control it. You'd just go hog wild. You'd just buy everything there is. And I would think, all right, all right. I'd buy anything I want to. Oh, I mean, we were set. We, that's what we were going to do. And you know what? She might have got married on me. Yeah. <laughs> it was our dreams right out the window. They'll do it every time. <laughs> went down to man, fell in love, and got married. There went my dreams of being an airline stewardess. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how we think? I am in a place in my life where whatever God gives me, I am so happy. Oh, yes. Glory. And the thing of it is, is that I know that He will give me more than I would ever ask. Why should me? Do I need healing? It's right there in the Word. <coughs> Do I need financial restitution? It's right there in the Word. What did He say? Go, uh, uh, Peter, just go on out there. There's this fish. He's going to look for this fish. Now, come on. A fish swims up, opens his mouth, and he pulls out a coin. Because they asked, should we pay taxes? Should we pay taxes? And Jesus said, whose face is on that coin? Caesar's. Render under Caesar that which is Caesar's. If Caesar says pay the taxes, we'll make a way. I don't want you to know a fish swam up to the side, opened its mouth, and there was a coin. And he took the coin out and they paid the taxes. Right. I'm telling you, it's true. It's a story in the Word of God. Read it. The fish swam up, opened its mouth, and there was the coin. And people sit around and say, how am I going to make it? How am I going to make it? How am I gonna... Now, do I believe that God expects you? Because you can't sit in the corner and say, give me blessings, God, give me blessings, and not do anything about it. First of all, the man had to walk over to the lake. Yeah. The man had to stand there. He had to do something in order to receive what God had had for him. God had made a way. But if the man had sat in his seat and said, Look, I want God to bring it right to me. Come on. He let the fish swim right up to you and spit it out at you. But you didn't want that. You wanted him to just, you wanted him to get on land, grow legs, and walk it over. And get. Sometimes God wants us to do our part. Do you understand? Yeah, that's right. Sometimes we have to do our part. Amen. We have to meet him halfway. Uh -huh. It can't be all God, uh -huh. and it can't be Man. all me. That's right. Amen. We have to find this medium Don't put no name. between the two of us. That I'm doing my part, and he's doing his part. Because when you're doing your part, and he's doing his part, that's when everything it's comes together. Yeah. That's when everything comes together. <laughs> When you set your sights and you set your mind that I know that God is going to take care of this and you begin to praise Him and you do everything He tells you to do, He is going to be a just God. He's going to be right there for you. Amen. He will be with you. That's the kind of God that I serve. Amen. He always meets me. Good job. Always meets me. Amen. Even when sometimes the only thing I can do is just lift up my head. He's going to be right there to meet me. Bless the Lord. Sometimes I feel like there's, I am so low and so down and so unworthy that I barely get my hands above my shoulders. He is right there saying, honey, you're okay. <coughs> you're okay. Thank you, Jesus. And there's somebody to say, well, if you think you're bad, <laughs> Ma, you think you're bad. <laughs> but see, they don't know me. I know me. Yeah. Oh, I know me. Amen. I know my faults. I know my failures. I know where I do not do what I'm supposed to. But I also know that God is right there to meet me. He's a good God. No matter what. Every time. No matter how many times I fall. He's a good God. No matter how many times I want to reach out my hand and go. <laughs> because you know what? I'm flesh. I'm telling you, I'm flesh. And there's times when I, there's certain people, I just like to reach out and grab them right to the throat and just. <laughs> I'm serious. I'd like to punch him in the face. And God says, mm -mm, that's bad, girl. You better go repent. And then I got to turn my face. Say, oh, God, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Why do I do that? 
Why do I allow myself to get there? When the enemy comes in, when the enemy comes in, I've got to hold up a standard. And that standard is not what I wear or, or, or what I look like or what I eat or don't eat. That standard is knowing that God is going to be there no matter uh -huh. what. Amen. Amen. I've got to hold up that shield and I've got to get into this word because I'm going to tell you what. He will give you assurance and he will tell you exactly what he wants you to know. Amen. I love him so much because he loves me. Yes. Oh, he loves me no matter what. He loves the unlovable. Sure. Amen. We like to pick out the people we think are deserving of God. I don't know about you, but I said, God, he just don't deserve it. <laughs> he just doesn't deserve it. That person is evil. <laughs> that person is evil. And you know what God has to remind me? That person is also my child. That's my child. He loves us all the same. That person is awful. My child. Whether you like them, whether you agree with them, mm -hmm. whether you think what they're doing, he's still also my child. So what does he say? Pray for those who use you, despitefully use you. I don't want to read this. I want you to get this. I want you to somehow get this. You've got to get this because we live in a world today that's in an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You do to me, I'm going to do to you, or I'm going to do to you before you can do it to me. I'm going to do it to you before you can do it to me. And you don't even know what the guy's going to do. But I'm going to get you before you get me. Because if I get you before you get me, I'm coming out on top. Oh, not so, not so, not so, not so. Not so. <clears throat> and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. I can barely see here, so you're going to have to help. <laughs> Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. You know, the word says that joy cometh in the morning. Weeping endureth for a night, yes. but joy cometh in the morning. Yes. You know what? You're going to go through hard times. You're going to go through yes. trouble. The enemy oh. is going to come in your face because that is his job. Yes. But praise God. We know that if you stand, you've done all you can to stand, stand. And stand and stand and stand. Because this world is not my home. Oh, how do you Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. And when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. People are going to hate you simply because you love God. That's right. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to ridicule you. They're going to call you. You know what? I can't hardly watch television anymore. Amen. I mean, I love Andy Griffin. I love Lucy. I love those shows because I can watch them, and I'm not offended. But there are shows that I used to absolutely love to watch that I can't watch it because they're constantly degrading Christians. Yeah, that's true. They would pick, they pick the psychos that are out there. <laughs> they pick psychos that, that bomb abortions, abortion clinics and kill innocent people thinking they do God a service. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and, you, and, and those are the people that they want to, to, to promote. This is what Christianity yeah, is all about. Right. I want you to understand, that's not what my God is about. That's right. Amen. My God is not about vengeance. My God is not about retaliation. My God is not about getting you before you can get Him. My God is about love, love. and love. mercy and grace. Do I think those things are okay? Yeah. No. And I pray God make a way that He would touch their hearts and their minds. Because we know that those things are wrong. But you cannot, we don't live in an eye for an eye, but they'll pick oh, those right. kinds of people. Yeah, that's right. They'll pick psychotics that, and they'll say, this is what Christianity is all about. Yeah. And it offends me so greatly that I can't hardly see it. I can't hardly watch it because it, it just hurts my spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. People are going to hate you yes. just because you, love, because God. you love God. That's They're going to call you... Uh, Vulnerable idiots. Oh, you just, you just, you just don't understand. I don't know what you know. You, you're just, you poor, poor, weak person. You poor, weak person. You gotta, you gotta have this crutch to keep you going. You know, you have no strength. You have no, you have no. You're not a strong-minded. If you're a strong-minded person, you wouldn't need that God to stand on. Yeah. 
Is our oh, friend. praise God. I am a strong-minded person. And I know that without Him, I can't stand. Nothing. Without, without, him. without Him in my life, I can't stand. I would be on my face if it was not for the love of God. I could not make it in this world. No. Not because I need a crutch, but because I know who is in control uh, of my life. I know who controls my every move. Give honor to him. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of him. Rejoice ye in that day and leap, leap for, for joy. joy. For behold, uh -huh. your reward is great in heaven. Yeah. For in like manner did their fathers unto, unto the, prophets. the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Mm. Woe unto you that are full, for you shall hunger. Woe unto you mm. that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. For so did they, their fathers, to the false prophets. I want you to understand, I'm not seeking the acceptance of this world. And you cannot seek the acceptance of this world. If you think, if I blend in with the rest of this world, everything's going to be okay. Well, yeah, but this world is... This long. Yes. Time was made for me and you. Time wasn't made for God. Sure, you can blend into this world and you can do everything that the world's telling you to do. And you can also lost, be lost and, and die and go to a devil's hell. It was never made for you. Yes. God doesn't force anyone to serve Amen. Him. Amen. You know, Jennifer, where he said, I want you that rich. It's not because of the riches that he's Oh, no, not at all. The riches are needful. And the riches can be good. And there, oh. are, there are people that have riches that use it for good. Very cause, wisely. For God's Very cause. wisely. And, 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 he, and He'll do that for you if you'll use it wisely. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with the riches. No. Absolutely. It's the intent of the heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. And sometimes we think we don't need anything. That's why He says, well, for you that are full. Some people think, I don't need God. I've got everything I need. I don't need God in my life. Yeah. Some people think, I don't need to pray. I've been baptized. I've, I've been baptized. I'm saved. I don't need to do anything else. Mm -hmm. You think you're so full that you don't need any more of God? I will not see. Yeah. You think you've got so much you don't need any more? You don't need to do anything else? Yeah. Trust me. It's only the beginning. Right. Amen. Every day you have to walk closer and closer yes. and closer to God. Amen. It's never enough. You understand? It's That's never right. enough. That's right. None of us are going to reach our full potential until we're with Him. Mm -hmm. right. So if you think that you've done all that you need to do, to, to get salvation and go on, you're wrong. You might, I mean, this, this rich, I'm, I'm rich, I've got everything I need. I'm full, I don't need anything else. I'm, I, can, I, I personally have heard people say, everything I have, I have because I've done it myself. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, sorry. That, that's, that's, that's the bad part right there. But it, it, you can desire riches and, and use those riches for good. Absolutely. And it's a good thing. In fact, it, it, instead of... Uh, Instead of envying the rich man, we should all desire to be rich so that we can do more for God. Do more and That's more. Right. And more. That's what he intends. Um, right. But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. Oh. you. That's hard. I don't know about you. That's hard. Yes, Face it. It's yes. not easy being nice to somebody who is not nice to you. It's not easy, is it, Brother Ronnie, when your neighbor is constantly in your face? It's easier, much easier now. Because why? Because you retaliated and got her before she got you? You had to show the love of God. At every opportunity, you have to show the love of God. Because it's something that, it's, it, when, you, when, you, when you pour out love on people that don't deserve it, Oh, they know. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. they know. Absolutely. No, it says if you're at, uh, it, how is it? If your enemies are at peace with you, God love you know you're you're being blessed if your enemies are at peace with you. And I'm paraphrasing that exactly how it's worded. And I know that when I'm out of the will of God, I know when my neighbor flares up at me, <laughs> <laughs> and she can flare up. Now I'm telling you. God's <laughs> giving you a, a stick to, to <laughs> poke you. <laughs> Straighten up. <laughs> Bless them that curse you, and pray for them that despitefully use you. And unto them that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away the cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. 
Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. How many of you want people to be mean to you? How many of you want people to use you? That's not what it's about. How many of you like people shoving things down your throat? I don't. Amen. I want you to understand, you, you can win people by loving them to God a lot faster than yes. you can by telling them how bad they are. Amen. I work with young children all the time. And I can tell you this. I can get more work done by getting, showing them the good things than I can by pointing out the bad things. Yes. For instance, this week, I have a three and a half year old and she just tore all the toys out in the, in the playroom. And I said, honey, you need to go pick up your toys. And she said, but, 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 and I looked and I said, honey, you need to go pick those up. I didn't take them out and I'm not going to put them away. You took them out, you need to put them away. And she went in and she stood there and she stood there. And then I, then something clicked. You're not going to get her this way. And so I began to sing, clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. And you know what I began to sing? And I began to tell her, come on now, now if you get that, I'll, come around, I'll put this in. And pretty soon, she was going around picking everything up. Because she wasn't feeling threatened anymore. <coughs> You've got to do this, and you better do it now. But when I began to get on the other side of her and made her feel like she was getting something by doing it, right. then she was more than willing. And if you let people understand how much God can do for them instead of about what He's going to do, Hallelujah. it makes a difference. Amen. People want a God that's going to lift them up. People want to be close to a God that will comfort them. People want to be close to a God that's going to heal their body. People want to be close to them, to a God that's going to give them security. But it's something about that God that's sitting out there with a baseball bat, written ready to knock them down. Doesn't want them to all come very close to him. You don't want to portray God as that evil taskmaster that's going to beat them into submission. Because that's not the God that I serve. Hallelujah. The God that I serve wants to bless you and wants to draw close to you. Yes. He wants to be a part of your life. Hallelujah. He wants to be the center part of your life. Do you understand that? He wants to be close to you. He wants to comfort you. He wants to give you peace. He wants to supply your every need. Who wouldn't want to be close to someone like that? Amen. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do and if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom you hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. I'm not in this to see what I can get out of God. I'm in this to see what I can give to God. Amen. Yeah. And people see that in your life. Sure. Do you understand? People want to see what you can do for God, not just what He can do for you. This is a two-way street. You've got to meet Him in the middle. It's not all about what God can do for me. It's also about what I can do for Him. Amen. It's not all about how God can bless me, but it's how can I bless God. Yes. You know what? People want to be around somebody who is a blessing. Yes. Amen. They don't want to be around that person that's a curse. That's right. Amen. Who wants to be around somebody that's always nyeh, nyeh, nyeh? Right. Who wants to be around somebody that's constantly degrading everyone? Uh -huh. Constantly telling you how bad you are. You're bad. Oh, Judy's bad. Judy's bad. <laughs> Judy, <laughs> repent. Repent. <laughs> Brother Ronnie taught his bird to say, well, he, no, said he, didn't teach it. he said he didn't teach it, he just I learned. Do you repent? <laughs> I don't know how I got those words. <laughs> God is my witness. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Brother Ronnie. I don't know how I did it either. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> but honestly, people want to be encouraged. People want to be strengthened. People want to be lifted up. People want to be told the good things of God. 
<laughs> you know why I turn on that TV and they talk about the finance and they talk about the banker and, and then my, my get on my soapbox and it's like, I don't understand how come those bakers are getting all the money. And then God says, shut up. <laughs> I'm telling you, he'll just... <laughs> and he'll say, you know what? Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. Oh, the you know politicians what? are on these boards. That's why. You know I what? <laughs> You're, you know what? You do what you can do, and I'll do what I can do, and that's what I tell you. Yes. I have no control over the financial market. I can't make people buy or sell. I can't make greedy people ungreedy. I can't make people that have love of money to love mankind more than they love money. You, I can't change that. I can be a good witness. I can be a good witness about God. I can tell people about the love and the mercy of God. That's what I can do. I can pray. And when I have an opportunity to change something, uh -huh. if I can vote to vote this person out and vote this person in, I do what I can do. I put those people in there that I believe have a clear <coughs> conscience toward God. That's what I do. And the rest of it, I put in the hands of a living God. Yeah, that's what <laughs> but love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and, y and ye shall be children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom, for with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Yeah. However you put it out, it's going to come back to you. If you're putting out mercy and grace, and you're thanking God and lifting up God, and you're putting Him first and foremost in your life, if He is the center of your life, I guarantee you, He's going to make things around you change because that's the kind of God. Amen. Amen. Amen.